Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make the bee feeder kind of Russian nesting doll effect right now that they're kind of pushing through in their um, uh, as part of their rebranding in uh, the UK. So they have this kind of a picture of a bottle that's kind of growing outwards right here. And we're going to learn how to do this in Illustrator today. Uh, before we get going, if you like this tutorial or any of the others that we've done, please don't forget to subscribe, check out our other videos, give us a like, send us some comments, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the outline of our bottle, and we're going to draw a straight line that we're going to use as a reference line for the middle, so right there. And we're going to use a pen tool, and starting from the middle point, down here, hold shift, here, and then we're going to round it, hold shift, give it a first corner, and you're just going to draw the basic shape of the bottle. And shift up to here, like that, more, and shift on the diagonal. Up a bit, give it a little notch. Back to here, up, give it another notch. Up and then shift and make the cap. And we're just gonna make sure that this uh, this anchor point right here is aligned with the middle. Let's get rid of the handle. Just make sure that there we go. Now this anchor point. Now this whoa, that's really annoying. Let's get rid of that. Ugh. Once again, using this anchor point, it's now in the middle between this. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of this path, we don't need it anymore. We're gonna make this stroke a bit smaller. It doesn't need to be so thick like that. Select the entire shape, control C, control shift V, which is Paste in place, right click, transform, and reflect. 90 degrees on the vertical axis. And then we're gonna bring it close so it touches and joins like that. Don't worry about the kind of funniness of the shape right now. Uh, we'll fix that in a moment. So we're just gonna go select it all, press Control J, and now it's all one shape, like this. Then we're just gonna bring it in, narrow it down until it has a more bottle-like shape, like that. All right, now that we have it, let's give it a red color, like a bottle. Okay. Then we're going to use our pen tool, and we're going to draw another shape around it. And we want this shape to be roughly the same distance everywhere. And we're also going to hold shift the entire time to make sure that everything's in a straight line. This is important for the effect. back and give it a shift so you can see it's roughly the same distance around. Continue with the shape upwards here and then we'll give it a kind of bend around like that. And same deal. Get rid of this handle and make sure that this is right in the middle like that. And we're gonna do the exact same thing as before with the selection tool. We're gonna copy, we're gonna control shift V right click, transform, reflect 90 degrees on the vertical axis and then we're just going to make sure it touches like that and then we're going to join the shape, control J and now we have the shape around there. Now as we have the shape we're going to create, we're going to make it a bit thicker of a stroke, give it about, yeah, about 14 more, 16 will do the trick I think. And we're gonna add one other effect by selecting this point right here. And just bring it up just a bit more like that. Great. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this shape and we're gonna go to object. So press the stroke, stroke 16. So we're gonna select the shape, we're gonna go to object, then path, 
and we are going to offset the path by a certain amount. And for this project, what I did was use the 16 pixels times two, so two thicknesses of this, which would be 32 minus one, so 31. And that'll make it right around here. So this space right here corresponds to around 16 pixels between the two shapes. And use miter and four. We press OK, and now we have that shape that's repeated. But if we want to keep doing this, uh, it gets kind of annoying because we have to click on the object, go to object, go to path, outside path. There's a lot of clicks involved, so we're going to do another thing. We're going to go to window, actions, and then we're going to go create new action. It doesn't matter what the name is, and then press record. Now we're going to select our outside line right here. We're going to go to object, path, and then, again, offset path with the exact same parameters as before. You see the preview, it's the same distance between everything else. And go OK. Then, we're going to press the stop button. And what this does, basically, it, every single time we press this play button right here, it's going to repeat our action. So we press play, play, and we keep going. And there you have it. And now we have this expanding feeder effect. The next thing I did was just select every second line, so like that, and give it a blue color. Around there. Like that. And the last little bit added just some text for fun. Clicked right here. It says B feeder, we're gonna go lamb chopper. And the text will be blue cheetah bright. I think that's okay. Let's bring it to the center. It's about here. Give it a white color. Just like their logo that they have there. We're gonna make it a bit bigger. Make sure it's centered. We can center it in the shape right there. Then we go to effect, warp, and arc. And give it a slight arc like that. And usually underneath it's written where this uh, drink is kind of originating from. And we're going to put Wellington, New Zealand, they like their land. Go right there underneath. And for this we're going to change the text and we're going to make it into uh, Tahoma. That'll do. As a bold and white color. And we'll just make it a bit smaller. Up to 12. No, it's too small. 18, no. And we just make sure that's situated right underneath in the middle. And simple as that. That's how you create the bee feeder expanding a shape effect. If you want more of these little notches, you can add some little patterns to here, and you'll see that they'll spread out and they'll expand from there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So if you have any questions or any feedback, please don't hesitate to post a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos. And as always, have a great day.